part about the Steve Wilkes news that, in my opinion, might be even the bigger part of the news is Chris Kosarek, who is staying oh, yeah. now in San Francisco, retained as, uh, and he's going to likely be the defensive line coach. Might see a job title increase, like an assistant head coach or a pay raise or something, according to. I'm guessing he gets a pay raise, or it already has that we haven't heard about. I mean, he's like, look, I don't know. want to be your coordinator, but you can give me a raise. Thanks, please. Yeah. 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 But talk to how valuable Chris Kosarek is, and really, would you have picked. Kosarek, or would you have picked Steve Wilk if you had the chance? Um, I I interviewed Kosarek. I asked him if he has aspirations to be a D coordinator. He's literally said no. So I don't want the guy who doesn't want to be a coordinator to be a coordinator. He doesn't want to watch coverage. He's great at right. what he does. Just keep giving him uh, raises. How much money do, do you think he makes a year coaching D line? If you had to make, if you had to guess, I don't it's know, but be, I could guess. It's got to be. It's probably got to be. It, at least in the range of 1.5 to 2 as a D-line coach. I was going to guess no. 3. At this point, it probably wow. was 2 last year. But now after D'Amico fighting over him, they probably gave him another another rate. I bet you he makes at least 1.5 or 2 just to coach oh. D-line. Just mm-hmm. to coach D-line. So, I mean, he's having, he has a great life. I, I, yeah. So, so, he gets to stay. Um, it's a big thing with D-line, with, with position coaches in general. Most of them change teams every two years. So, if you can stay in one spot, he's been here six years, if he has kids, I don't know if he has kids. They can stay in the same freaking school district. That's all. Keep the same friends. Coaches want to do that. So good for Kasarik and good for the Niners for making it work. And for those of you guys that want context, the average coordinator salary in the, in the NFL, I believe, is $1 million. So that's a that, coordinator. That, yeah. Coordinator. coordinator. This guy's getting paid like a high level coordinator, most likely. I don't know. I'm guessing. And he's just a D line, just a D line coach. He's a position right. coach, and position coaches, you know, they're almost underrated. Coordinators are sexy, oh, yeah. like they're the idea men. But you know what? Position coaches are the one that actually make it work because they teach the techniques that are required mm-hmm. to execute. They always say you got to execute, right? Well, who's in charge of execution? The position coaches. If yeah. you have good ones, you execute. If you don't, you, you all you have is freaking good ideas. So anyway. That's my little rant. And the 49ers, they have the best defensive line coach and arguably one of the top, if not the best, linebackers coach, Johnny Holland as well. It, oh, my God. He's great. Uh, and I think he doesn't get enough credit because the Niners linebackers is what differentiates that defense. No one has linebackers like the Niners. No one has two, three guys who can stop the run and cover. And the offensive line coach is really good too, Chris yeah. Forster. Yeah. Brian Greasy had a phenomenal first year, although he needs to do something with Trey. Brock Purdy was Kind of a dream pupil in the sense that he needed no work. Uh, Bobby Turner is a freaking legend. Anthony Lynn's excellent. Uh, yeah. The wide receiver coach has a lot to prove. He was new, but he was it was a first year coach. Mm-hmm. Debo had a, Debo was. I mean, Ayuk had a good year, so you give him credit for that. Hey, um, yeah, yeah. Tight end coach had a, got a good year at a at a Kittle for the first time. It's a good it's a good coaching staff. It's a good coaching staff. Harbaugh yeah. had a good one too. Harbaugh that's had true. a good one too. Uh, apart from OC, but uh, apart from that, yeah, that's true. Hey, well, at least he had one. Kyle might need one because Kyle, to me, the way he acted after this season was, hey, you can't blame me. I'm the, I'm, I just draw up plays. I'm just in charge of getting touchdowns. No, dude, you're also the head coach. And you should have been the first person to be like, no, stupid, Kyle. Like, I'm not going to let Hassan Reddick win this game in the first quarter. I'm not going to let that happen. I'm the head coach. I'm supposed to be cautious. So Kyle might benefit from hiring an offense. He had one with McDaniel. Yeah, mm-hmm. someone. Letting Anthony Lynn be the—I don't know how he wants to do it, but just embracing his role as the guy who takes responsibility for everything. That's the head coach. Coordinators have to do that.